There's a rumor going round. All the rumors are true, yeah. What you heard, that's true, yeah. Another National Television Awards happened on Tuesday, and it's kind of old news by now, or is it though? Anyways, our favorite Islanders walked the red carpet, and the Islanders either killed their looks or they should have stayed at home because what they served was horrendous. I am the proof of what's never been seen. I am so beautiful. I am responsible. I am enough, and my soul is complete. Let's kick things off with Ella. She was one of my best dressed. She's fresh from the villa, just signed a six figure deal with. Pretty little thing. Get ready for PLT to shut it down. And she showed why she was the it girl of season 10. Her makeup is fresh yet elegant. She looks stunning, sophisticated yet banging hot at the same damn time. Ella clearly understood the assignment and my girl ate and left no crumbs with this look. Next up is Tasha from season 8. This look is serving Barbie, it's serving girly, it's serving 9 out of 10. It's ridiculously gorgeous. I just, I just love it. Stunning, stunning Sammy from season 9. It looked beautiful. The up to his I'm obsessed. I love this look and she nailed it. <laughs> Season 9 Jess and Season 10 Jess were serving pageant queens with Jess from Season 10 taking the crown. You know what, we, we were just in a hotel, I've got, I got Ty with me, Lachlan with me, you got, yeah, it's bad. Even people from other series, it's, uh, it's weird meeting them, and yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, I feel like we're all a big family, so Yeah, we are a big family. Well, just like family at the NTAs, Faye and Mora had a little argument that went viral. Apparently, Mora called Faye a silly little cow, and both Faye and Mora squashed things off, with Faye jokingly saying that Mora calls her a silly cow most days. What makes an icon? What makes you call an icon? Is Maura Higgins. This season 5 star and Ella were my favorite looks of the night. Maura looked gorgeous, fabulous, stunning. Maura was perfection personified, and this look it gave elegance, class, sophistication. Now Maura understood the assignment. Nope, scratch that. Maura was the main event. He's an icon. Cannot compete with destiny. We're iconic, baby. This look from Faye from season 7, the designer, Faye, her stylist, absolutely nobody tried with this look. This look is just too simple for me and we've seen it. Look at Tasha, she has the same look but it's updated to the present day 2023. Why couldn't Faye designer or Faye or her stylist pick something that is updated? Guys, it's so good to see you. We're here at the NTAs. Can you believe your journey has brought you to stuff like this? No, can't believe it. And I can't believe her outfit. This dress is just meh. It's not amazing. It's not ugly either. Her shoes, her earrings, everything is just a matchy, matchy mess. <sighs> I can't believe it. No, I cannot believe it. Speaking of shoes and messes, Lana, darling. What the hell is going on down there? What? What the fuck? Next up is season 7 Chloe and this look matches her personality to a T. It is loud, it is out there, but it is gorgeous. And Love Island is obviously nominated tonight. Room for it. Yes! The phone! Take it home! <laughs> season 8 Ekin Sue was looking elegant in this little number. As for season 10's Catherine, this look is a big fat no for me. This is one of the worst looks of the night. The shoulders, the sleeves, they look like they needed a little bit of editing by the designer. It's just not flattering on her body, but her makeup and her accessories are spot on. I'm clearly not a fashion expert, so don't take my word as the bubble. It's bad days. It's crazy. You're like walking down a path, you don't know what's at the end. You're like, oh my gosh, you know? But no, I'm happy to be here. It's amazing. Like, just the people, the atmosphere. Like, I love it. It's really amazing. Now let's focus our attention on the guys. Davide looked dapper in his double breasted suit. Tyan Will looked debonair and crisp in their tuxedos. 
but my best dressed man of the night went to Zach and his three piece elegant, classy, crisp, clean suit. I could stare at Zach all day in this number. Sammy also spruced a three piece, but it was Andrew and his golden doily bits that claimed the worst dressed for me. Don't come for me if I came for your faves. Hey, you, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.